Hi, this is Brandon from Watches On You. Today, we're taking a look at the brand new Breitling Endurance Pro, and we're here at Continental Diamond in St. Louis Park, Minnesota, who have provided the watch for the purposes of this review. Uh, before I start this review, I wanna give a quick announcement that I currently have on sale a new batch of the watch that I created. This is the Hoagland & Sons Mark I Chronograph. It is a mecha quartz chronograph, and essentially what that means is the movement has a quartz oscillator, so you get the accuracy of a quartz movement, but the functionality of a mechanical chronograph. And what I mean by that is that, as you can see, when I start the chronograph, it has a smooth seconds hand that resets um, through a flicking motion back to zero upon being uh, reset using the bottom pusher. So as you can see, it flips back. So it basically acts exactly as a mechanical chronograph. Additionally, with this watch, you get a um, time zone scale on the back and unit conversion scale. So I really wanted to make this watch as travel friendly as possible. Check out the link in the description if you want to purchase this watch. It's available on sale for $149. Um, uh, and definitely make me an offer if uh, you can't afford that price. Uh, you, you may be surprised as to uh, how nice I'll be with this first, first listing. So um, I'm excited to kind of build this brand with you guys as a community. I respond to feedback. So if you have any input as to how I can improve the design of the watch, definitely let me know. One input, one design change that I've already implemented is that I use uh, polished steel hands on the subdials as opposed to black subdial uh, sub dial hands. Um, it gives it a little bit more contrast than the initial batch, so that's definitely a change that I made. So check out that link in the description. Now we can move on to the rest of this review. So as I said, this is the Breitling Endurance Pro Chronograph. It is a new model from Breitling, and they released a ton of new models. I'm very... Uh, pleasantly surprised by the fact that they were able to kind of innovate during this time of the global pandemic and I'm really happy that they were able to release um, kind of a wide variety of models and this is a new obviously kind of a new uh, direction for Breitling this is kind of an athletic watch uh, so you had that they did a previous watch with the um, bright light material but it didn't have a chronograph feature and it was quickly um, kind of discontinued that was the Breitling Sky Racer and this watch offers a lot more functionality than that piece. Uh, it's available at $3,000, which is fairly expensive for a quartz watch, but this is a super quartz watch. So it's a thermal compensated quartz movement. Um, and you have a couple of unique features with this piece. So obviously you have the bright light material, which is significantly lighter than titanium. I believe it's 3.3 times lighter than titanium. So it's a very, very light. Again, it's for uh, athletes. And then again, you get that super, uh, super quartz movement which is an in-house proprietary breitling movement um and it's very very accurate and it's a much higher quality than kind of a less expensive quartz movement additionally you have a pulsimeter scale which is something you don't really see on a lot of watches today and i think that i would argue in modern times it's a lot more useful than the tachymeter which you see much more commonly um and again you can if you're not familiar with how to use this scale you can use it to calculate heart rate. So as you can see, it says 30 pulsations scale. So basically how to use that is you start the chronograph, when you're trying to find like a heart rate, um, you count, you start the chronograph and then count 30 heartbeats. And at the end of those heartbeats, um, that 30, you stop the chronograph and then the scale will give you their heart rate. So it basically just doubles um, the number of uh, seconds it took for you to reach 30 pulsations. Now, you can probably do that in your head, but um, it's kind of an interesting feature on a watch. Um, also, what's really interesting about this movement is that when you reset it, it resets a lot more quickly than most quartz movements. It still doesn't like flick back like you saw in that mecha quartz movement, but um, it like it goes around the dial super quickly back to the zero point. Um, and that's much more quickly than I've seen on any movement. And it actually makes it look a lot more high quality. Um, so as you can see, moving on to the rest of the watch, you have this, this is the white version. There's several other colors. I particularly like the orange war version. Um, and it comes on a nice rubber strap. You can also get it on a NATO strap. And Breitling's rubber straps are some of the most comfortable rubber that I've ever uh, kind of felt. It's natural rubber. Uh, it's, it's called... Uh, I can't pronounce this word. It's uh, cow cow choke. I believe it's like a. It seems like a Mayan word, frankly. Um, but 
Anyway, it's natural rubber, not artificial. It's a lot more comfortable. I got one of these straps for a Breitling emergency that I had and it made it significantly more comfortable than wearing it on the bracelet. I highly recommend them. Uh, even if you don't buy this model, you should probably get them for your other uh, Breitling watches that you have. It just makes, in my opinion, it's much more comfortable than the bracelet. And it adds a little bit of variety to your piece. It looks kind of, it adds more of a modern element just due to its how it looks and its construction. One negative of this watch is that it has a 100 meter water resistance and given that it's targeted towards athletes, I wish that they would have cranked that up a little bit to 200 meters just because I think that um, Breitling is kind of known for having really high water resistances so I don't think it would have taken that much effort for them to do that. Um, but again, 100 meters is definitely enough to swim with and enough to compete in like a triathlon with just because you're near the surface but um, you wouldn't really want to dive with this watch most likely. Um, you'd probably be okay at most depths, uh, considering that most people aren't going that deep. But again, given that you're moving around under the water, there are other pressure uh, things to consider. So um, that is one kind of drawback. But overall, I'm really impressed with the quality of the watch. I think the bright light material is a lot more, um, or it's very, very unique, uh, obviously, given that it's proprietary to Breitling. And it looks really cool. It has this kind of texture to it, but it's it's warm to the touch because it's a composite, but it, it looks very, very cool. And I'm kind of excited for it to get more wider adoption within their uh, lineup. So if you like this video, remember to like, subscribe, and share, and also uh, check the notification bell. Uh, thanks for watching and goodbye.